Hey, um, what's going on? Have not been on line for a minute on this particular channel. Uh, put some live gaming on the site so you check them out as well. But this is what I want to talk about. And I haven't talked about this in about a week. Denver Nuggets are going to the NBA Finals. Jokic was the MVP of the conference finals. Here's what I want to talk about. Because everybody's sitting there saying, well, Joel Embiid had an MVP season. Joel Embiid does this. Joel Embiid is the best player of all time. Joel Embiid shrunk in the most biggest opportunities that he has had. You were up 3-2 in Boston with a chance to close it out on your home court. And what do you do? You wet the bed. James Harden wets the bed. But this is not even about Harden. We know what Harden is. But at the end of the day, you are the leader of this team. You are the so-called superstar of this team. Because like I said, Joel Embiid is not a leader. And I'm tired of people saying, well, what are you talking about? You don't know basketball. What do you mean? He had 50 points in games. He had over 40 point games. They played a bunch of scrubs in the regular season. Half of those teams in the league are a bunch of scrubs. The Nets are scrubs. The Knicks, they're okay. The Hawks, uh, who cares? They're scrubs. The Wizards, they're scrubs. The Charlotte Hornets, they're scrubs. The Detroit Pistons, they're scrubs. The Chicago Bulls, they're scrubs. The Raptors, they're scrubs. Scrubs. You can beat scrub D teams. You can blow them out. But when you're going up against the Boston Celtics, game six, at your home court with a chance to close it out, Jason Tatum struggling for the first three quarters. Didn't really score. And you come up short. In the in when in the last five minutes, and then Tatum turns it up. And I said, you know what? He's gonna go off on the next game. And exactly what they did. They showed no part. The first quarter they were up by nine, but something happened and then the rails just fell off. They didn't play. They showed no heart. Joel Embiid has no heart. Stop giving me he scores 40 points a game. He averages 30 some points a game. I don't want to hear that. That's regular season numbers. Regular season doesn't mean anything till after Christmas. not a leader. Okay? He's not. I don't think he had 30 points in the playoffs. I'm not sure. But I doubt it if he had that. Well, um, he was hurt. So, okay. Well, he's been, okay, he's injury prone. This man is injury prone. Injury prone. He has not had one, not had one healthy season. Not one. Every playoffs, he gets hurt. It happened last year, it didn't happen this year. Are we gonna blame that? When you have a Michael Jordan, and say what you want about Michael Jordan, say what you want about Kobe Bryant. They demanded a lot out of you. They demanded a lot. Okay? And a lot of people didn't like him because of that. But you know what? He made Jordan and Kobe made players around him better. Jordan made Pippen better. Kobe Bryant made Paul Gasol better. A lot of other people better. Luke Longley, Jordan, Steve Kerr. What are these other guys? What has what has Embiid made? Has he made Tobias Harris better? No. Has he made uh, George Niang better? No. Because he doesn't demand anything. All he wants to do is go along for the ride. That's why he was comfortable when he had Jimmy Butler. That was his road dog.
okay? Joel B is not a leader. He's somebody that needs to be led. That's the difference. And that's always going to be the difference in his career. He can't lead. He can't sit there and get in. You have P.J. Tucker trying to round him up. No, you're the leader. You're supposed to take over that game. You're supposed to body Horford. It did none of that. Just felt like a scared little boy on the court. Then they had the nerve to say, well, uh, it's just a five-on-five five game. You just can't have to. Man, stop making excuses. When you Excuses are for losers. You made an excuse. You got trounced. You got played. And it goes to show you every time. Yeah, you're doing good in the regular season. Oh, yeah, great, great. Come playoff time, second round, when it counts. When the money's on the line, up, uh, can't deliver. Up, uh, the moment's too big for you. And that's what Joel Embiid will ever be. He is a glorified regular season player that he'll, he'll win enough games. He'll win about 50, 49 games, get you to the second round, and then get bounced. I wasn't mad at game seven. Game six, you were supposed to close it out. And they didn't. And once I knew they lost, and they wasn't going to win that game, they was going to get killed up in Boston. Okay, Doc Rivers should have never got fired. Because I put this on the players. And yeah, his record was... Having a chance to call out series lead, yeah, it's not good. But at this point, Joel Embiid came up short. My thing is, either you got it or you don't. And Joel doesn't have it. And I wouldn't, if they traded him this summer, I would not be mad. But at the end of the day, he needs somebody to, to lead him because, unfortunately, he can't lead himself and he can't lead his other teammates. And it's going to be the same thing. Oh, we need to get tougher. We need to add a P.J. Tucker. What did that do? That's my little rant for the day. For more insightful videos, subscribe and like the video and subscribe to this YouTube channel.